Welcome back to Dragon Quest Hand in the Heavenly Bra I mean, Fantasy Star 3 Generations of Doom. Because it does feel like Dragon Quest. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> can't you tell? This is much simpler than Dragon Quest. Oh, the choice is presented to you. You don't have to go out. You don't have to basically go after this person, go after this person, go after this person. No, no, no. They made it simple. They made it easy for you. So I made two save states, one in which we're going the canical direction, and another in which we're going the what if direction. Now, as I mentioned before, the canical and the what if are both interesting, because it's going to go both ways throughout the rest of the game until we get to, like, chapter four. So. We're going to take the cannibal direction, which is, um, well, we're going to marry Maya, only because of one reason, to stop the senseless stupidity that happened a thousand years ago because of what happened between the war between Orakio and Laia. Plus, it wouldn't be right if... Technically, you went through all this shit just to basically say, you know what? No. I don't want. I, I, I do not want you after all of this. So. We will go with Maya. Like I said, I have a backup. I have two safe states just for this one reason. So let's marry Maya. I renounce my claim to Landon's throne and choose to become your husband, Maya. And I shall be your wife and queen. Together we will rule the fair land of Sil. After many adventures, Rhys at last found Maya. Rhys became king of the peaceful land of Sil. Maya gave birth to a son, and they named him Ayn. This is the story of Prince Ayn of Sil. After 15 years of peace, war once again came. Hail, King Rhys! Queen Maya and Prince Ayn! Cyborgs are attacking our lands! The vile cyborgs have beaten all our monsters. Grace is like, God damn it. My lord! King Maya of Shusaran begs for help! I mean, I I was afraid war would come again. But as you tell, I looks strange like room from four. <laughs> now you must venture forth on a vital quest. Legends of satellites say it is a place of peace. I think we'll need a sanctuary very soon. Take Mew and Ren and find the satellite. Hurry back! I don't know how long we have. Uh, yes, Father. So, yeah, in this storyline, since we married, um, since Reese married Maya, well, the people have finally learned to shut the hell up, get along, and now face some um, 15 years of peace. And after that, well, eh, we got um, another problem. That's uh, cyborgs. So yeah, in this storyline, yeah, cyborgs. Believe it or not, 
So, I'm here is, uh, he's heal and time. So his, so his techniques are basically that of heal and time. He has Ray, he has Res, Gyrus, River, Anti, Nair, Rimit, Shiza, and Debon. And as you can tell, our faithful our faithful cyborgs. You know, I swear she looks more like Rika than anything else. Um, Rika and Nay from two and four. But okay, she's considered a cyborg. Because I look at Ren, he's more cyborg than I don't know what. But I look at her, she don't look cyborg. So we have with us Mew and Ren in our party. Ayn has all his father's equipment. So therefore, he's good to go. Don't have to worry about, um, you know, the force boots and everything else. He basically has everything. So you know what, I'm going to do the following. I'm going to make sure... For this one, I'm doing a save. Because like I said, I don't, I don't want to mess up going back into, say, this part and then, you know... Go like, oh! Well, what happened to the... Uh, so mind you, what we're doing is 2A. We're on the canical route, in which Reese does marry Reese does marry M Maya. The age-old war between Laia and Arakio is over because of the marriage. People of Orakio and Lion live in harmony. And on top of that, probably now you can visit the shrines. I mean, it's not like it was in, um, um, that other let's play I did, um, gosh, it's been so long. Secret of the Stars. It's been so long since I mentioned that game, but yeah, it, that's what it feels like. It's like, oh, it's Secret of Stars. <laughs> this land must be safe. Hurry, Ayn. Tale of a satellite of true peace. Only the chosen ones can dwell there. Our lives depend on your courage, Prince Ayn. pronounced Ayn or Ayn, but I'm, I'm going with Ayn because it sounds more like Ayn. Ayn. <laughs> it's like Ayn, it's like Ayn, but it's more like Ayn. And for those who are going to be grammar Nazis about names, please, don't worry about it, okay? Just, it's just not worth it. Ein, ein, whatever, whatever your fancy, we're going with it. And it's just like, oh. That's like, oh, well, what about no? No. No. 
So I'm not I'm not gonna go throughout the rest of the let's play and say, oh it's no. So whatever I have no, it's like it is no. Just play like no. Yeah, like yeah. No. Armies of robots are surrounding our castle. I handle it. Satellite is a place of peace, or so I hear. I wonder if the Alice Kingdom has already fallen into the hands of our enemies. Oh yeah, rogues! You know that they, they, they <clears throat> find satellite and save us all, Prince Ayn. It's <laughs> like, Ayn, what are you gonna do? Nothing. Are you sure, Ayn? Are you sure you can handle this? Mm -hmm. Two. Check sifting real quick. Two seconds. Okay, I was about to do some low grind, but apparently we got new enemies here. We got Arachne. Is a big boost. Big, big boost. So, yeah, you can tell. Um, I am. And what we gotta deal with here? Yeah, that's gonna be an, a nice, sizable chunk of change. But for the most part, um, since I did do a safe save, I'm going to drop one right here. On number two. So like I said, I'm going to use multiples. One for, um, one for 2A and one for 2B and on, you know, for the A side and the B side. So, in the next part, we're actually going to properly start up Chapter 2A with Ein. And I'm going to be doing a bit of level grinding and pretty much get him up to level 5 before we head back to Shu Saran and go from there. So, stay tuned! More of... Fantasy Star 3, Generations of Doom. Ion's Quest. Right after this. Thanks for watching.